All right, let's evaluate the following limit. Limit as x approaches 5, x cubed minus 125 over x minus 5. All right, so before we actually look at simplifying this rational expression any further, we want to test to see if this limit actually provides a restriction. And you can notice here that if x does approach 5, the denominator will actually equal 0. So we know that if the denominator is 0 in a rational expression, that this becomes undefined. So we need to kind of circumvent for this. And I'm going to take a look at the numerator. I want to factor this to simplify the entire expression. And the numerator, the x cubed minus 125, it actually looks like a cubed minus b cubed, right? So when you're looking at factoring a difference of cubes, you can use this template, a minus b, a squared, plus ab, plus b squared, OK? If you look at this uh, sign here, this is the sign that changes, right? So this is going to be opposite of what your initial um, relationship or initial expression is. If it's a difference of cubes, this is going to be a positive. If it's a sum of cubes, this is going to be a negative, right? This last term is going to stay the same. So you can memorize this template. And in this case, we have x cubed. 125, you can write as 5 cubed. Right, so I'm going to use this template. So you're going to write this as x minus 5. Right, you square the a term. So you get x squared plus 5 times x. 5x plus b squared here is 5 squared. So it's 25. Okay, so this is what the numerator is going to look like. Then I'm going to substitute this factored form of the numerator back into the limit. Right, so now the limit is going to look like this. Limit as x approaches 5. You get x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25, right? And this is over x minus 5. And now you can see that there are two common factors that we can just kind of cross out, right? So this kind of alleviates our issue that there was this x minus 5 factor, which was causing this restriction of our limit, right? So now we can actually get rid of that, and we can substitute x is equal to 5. So now if we let x equal to 5, these guys are gone. We get 5 squared plus 5 times 5 plus 25, which is 25 plus 25 plus 25, and that's going to give us 75. Okay, so that's what our limit is going to give us.